It's Eric Freeman. Uh, I want to introduce a film from 1971, a Michael Caine film called Get Carter. Now, you've probably heard of a movie that Stallone did in 2000 named Get Carter, where uh, that film was kind of a cartoonish gangster film. This uh, Michael Caine film is real, it's authentic, it is gritty, and it's good. Uh, all the uh, supporting cast are good, and uh, every character in this movie is just a bad person. There, there, there is nobody that looks good in this film, and and that's what makes it such a treat. You don't see movies like this very often. Um, Michael Caine plays a character named Jack Carter, and he's a local uh, gangster in London. He's got his mates there that are also gangsters. He's got a boss he has to report to. And um, he hears his brother just died in an auto accident, uh, drunk driving. He's skeptical. So he uh, sets forth to go north and find out what happened and secondarily to attend the funeral. He finds out in short order he's been lied to and he suspects his brother died at the hands of someone else so he wants answers and uh, vengeance is on his mind which makes the movie good uh, there's backstory on this movie it started in 1969 a uh, film producer named Michael Klinger wanted to make a London gangster film and he was looking at novels in that time period and could find nothing that suited him. As he stated, they were all rubbish. He came across a uh, author named Ted Lewis who wrote a book called Jack's Return Home. And uh, he bought that book with the intention of making this film. And apparently it took about 10 months from the concept to completion of this film at a cost of $750,000, which is remarkable. Now, most of the photography, the principal photography, was shot in North England, uh, I think in the Newcastle area. There's some kind of high-tech architecture shots in here. There's gritty pub shots in here. There's castles. There's, there's a lot of uh, cool... Uh, cinematography in here a lot of good locations um brit eckland is in this movie she's uh she was a, a hottie back then and she was driving around a little white sports car a little sunbeam alpine and um but it's a really good michael kane film and it's considered uh, by quentin tarantino and guy ritchie to be the best london gangster film ever and um it's well worth your time I hope you uh, look it up and also and if you want to do this you want to introduce a film and uh, all you got to do is become a patreon member and then if you have a film you like you want to introduce that film pass it by the big dog and if he says yes you're gonna be doing what I'm doing and uh, it's a gas man you get to introduce a film you like and uh, and then Justin will review it and it's a it's it's a good time it's well worth it become a patreon member and you can do this too of course the first time I screw up and I come up with a bad suggestion you know he'll get me he'll say no Eric uh, you know sit down you know come up with a better idea so uh, there's always that but I think you could do a good job at this I mean clearly you can do a better job than I'm doing but um, this particular movie I feel safe in telling you to go out seek out and get get Carter 1971 Michael Caine it's worth your time have a drink yeah have a toke enjoy this movie it is enjoyable I want to thank you for your time this is Eric Freeman with Forgotten Films with Eric Freeman I'll see you next time <laughs> take care bye Hey, what's up? People Piz out here, and as Eric mentioned in his introduction, today we are talking about 1971's Get Carter.
Get Carter stars Michael Caine as London gangster Jack Carter, who returns to his hometown in order to investigate his brother's mysterious death. Now, Get Carter was remade in the year 2000 with Sylvester Stallone in the starring role. I saw the movie once, didn't care very much for it, and at this point I've forgotten most of it. However, what little I do remember about the remake is that the character of Jack Carter, played by Sylvester Stallone, is written to be a bad guy. But a bad guy with a moral compass. What a crock. Michael Caine's Jack Carter has zero morals. He's a cold-hearted, cold-blooded killer with very few redeeming qualities. As a matter of fact, there are very few characters in this movie with any redeemable qualities. The only two characters that come to mind with any redeemable qualities are Jack's brother, who is now very much dead, partly because of those qualities, and Jack's niece. And I use quotations because you'll just have to see the movie. As dark as the film gets, the first half of Get Carter actually has some really nice moments of humor. Carter is one smooth mother. He beds down with two different women in the film, seduces another woman by phone while the proprietor of the B&B he's staying at listens in, effectively seducing two women simultaneously. When Carter is interrupted by some local thugs while in the act, he escorts both of them outside with a shotgun and not a stitch of clothing while a parade is nearby. So during the first half of the film, when Carter isn't questioning various members of the local criminal underworld, he's bedded down with a different woman. However, when Carter gets all vengeancy, he is absolutely ruthless. The second half of Get Carter gets pretty dark, and Carter's sociopathic side definitely comes out. Get Carter is a down-and-dirty gangster revenge flick. Pretty much everything that the remake wasn't, and I loved it. Get Carter is well made. I love the cinematography, the dreary atmosphere, and the gritty locations. The performances are all fantastic, particularly Michael Caine. His transition from smooth-talking ladies' man to cold-blooded killer happens so quickly, it's almost shocking. Carter goes from being the kind of guy you wouldn't mind having a pint with down at the corner pub to the kind of guy who, after finishing that pint, would follow you outside and stab you to death in the alley. It's almost like the movie initially sets you up to like Carter and then to have really mixed feelings about him. And I loved the no BS, this is not a hero's journey or even an anti-hero's journey kind of finale. I can't recommend 1971's Get Carter any higher. If you've not seen the film, by all means, go and check it out. The film is available to stream right now on Amazon Prime. You can find the DVD out there for around 10 bucks and the Blu-ray for around 20 Shout out to the great Eric Freeman for recommending Get Carter for this episode of Forgotten Films with Eric Freeman. Go check him out over on his website, theericfreeman.com. If you'd like to request a movie for me to review and introduce the movie at the beginning of my review, head over to patreon.com forward slash pizal and become a collaborator today. If you've seen Get Carter, either the original or the remake, let me know your thoughts on either or both down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A big thank you to all my awesome Patreon supporters. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for monthly live streams and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Patreon.com forward slash Pizal or follow the link in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.